So I just spawned in a cat rig uh, using Rigify. Uh, this one right here. Uh, I moved the bones a little bit to match my cat. And I'm going to show you one of the easiest to fix problems I have with the default rig for cats in Rigify. So uh, let me just generate the rig really quick. And uh, if you're someone like me who really likes to use IK, uh, inverse kinematics when animating cats. You've probably encountered this problem. Uh, you might not have thought that it was a problem to be fixed, but uh, it's been really bothering me for a long time. And I finally went and read the documentation, and I figured out it's incredibly easy to fix. So easy, I'm not even sure why, why this problem was here to begin with. Uh, so I'm going to show you really quick just the default rig as it is, how this, what this problem looks like. So I'm going to take the foot, and the idea with IK is that you move the end of the joint, uh, the end of the limb, and it will solve how the bones all need to be rotated to make that, like the end, like in this case the foot, be where I want it to be and have everything else line up nicely and like rotate so it all makes sense uh so like in smaller motions you might not notice the problem here because you do see like oh yeah things are kind of rotating here it, it's moving it looks nice um but if i pull it all the way back here this has not rotated uh technically this is still the foot because cats walk on their toes and so if you were doing a human rig, you would want this to not rotate. You would want this to stay put. Uh, but we're a cat, and cats walk on their toes. So this does want to rotate in our case. And so if we were doing an animation, we would have to, every time we move the foot, also move this joint to the position we want it to be in. And the whole point of doing like using IK is so you don't have to do that. Uh, same problem up here, like it, it's too far forward, we would have to rotate this back to make it look right. It's also the the different axes to rotate it on uh, can be a bit inconvenient because sometimes they rotate a bit funny. Um, but like after I read the documentation, I found the easiest possible solution to fix this. And I am, again, just so surprised that this problem exists at all. So let me uh, unparent this, and I'll just get rid of the rig, and we can go in uh, back to our meta rig, and I'll show you just how to fix it. So if I go into pose mode, and I click on the thigh bone, um, the ones labeled thigh L and thigh R, uh, if I scroll down uh, in the bones property panel down here, It'll say rigify type and then rig type. And this drop down, it currently says super limb, which is also what it says on the upper arm bone for the, the front legs, uh, super limb. Uh, in this case, the, the wrist thing here is this one is the one that doesn't rotate, but like that's, that's kind of fine because it's such a small bone. Um, but with the hind legs, it, it really kind of is a problem. But fortunately, uh, so super limb contains like a lot of the settings for all the other types of limbs in here, except for one. I mean, maybe others, but this is the one that really matters to me right now. Uh, rear paw. If I change this to rear paw, suddenly everything works perfectly fine. So if I go back to object mode, or I could stay in post mode, I just go to generate rig over here in the armature tab. So before, it was really only solving like one, uh, one or two like joints or whatever. Uh, if I want to hide this so I can see. Okay. So if I'm going to parent this again, with just that one fix. Uh, pose mode. All of a sudden, it, it does what we want. 
uh, this now rotates to the position that makes sense. Uh, it, it's the limb actually does the the whole thing in IK. Uh, reading the documentation, one detail about this is that what it does is this bone here, like the, the foot it's called, it's like, um, like if this is the toes, this is the foot. This, it tries to keep parallel, like 180 degree, degrees with the thigh, um, in accordance to the way you actually set it up in the meta rig. So if I hide this and show the meta rig, um, you'll notice that I actually have these bones not perfectly parallel. I have this one kind of pointing out a little bit more and this one more up and down. Um, it tries to keep this relationship between these bones. It wants the, this one to stay at roughly this angle relative to this bone at this angle. And it, so it just, it does that. It's great because also I've had problems with the uh, default rig and getting like good sitting positions or good running positions. Cause like, you know, if, like when cats are like really sprinting and their feet are just like way up here, you know, uh, the knee in the previous one, it would always try to point just like, just like down. Like, okay, well, that's not gonna work. Um, so I can't show you the example cause I forgot to at the beginning of this, but it would try to point the knee down and at best it would get it like all the way out to the side. And it was really awkward to deal with because it meant that there were some kinds of animations I just could not get to look right. Um, same thing for sitting down. A lot of the times I would have to compromise and just kind of hide it, which I mostly use cell shaded uh, styles. So it, it's easier to hide with mine, but it, it's just generally pretty inconvenient. Um, but with this, I, I've not really had that problem anymore. I finally can get the knee pointing up how I like it. And it generally, this is just, just so much nicer. And I'm just, again, so surprised that the base meta rig, when you, when you actually just generate it in, like right over here, that it doesn't already have that setting enabled. I like. Anyway, uh, using Rigify, you can fix your meta rig array. It's great now. Thanks.